Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a meal prep video. Kind of come cook along with us a little bit. Uh, we've got a quite a few things that we're going to try to prep over here in the next few uh, hours. I'm actually going to put on some eggs in the Instant Pot for deviled eggs. We do have a friend coming over. She used to come on Sundays and then our schedule kind of got a little busy with Alana's new job. And so now we just changed Alana's schedule so she works an earlier shift. So now my friend is going to come over on Saturday evenings. So she's coming in just a little bit. I am actually going to put some eggs on for angel eggs. Angel eggs. Um, and that is how I'm going to work that. I've got some pork chops I need to cook. I'm going to do some poffles. Instead of chaffles, I'm going to show you guys poffles. And uh, we did a seafood chowder. We did another seafood chowder. I filmed one and then we just did one. So I think we're actually going to probably be able to do like a chicken soup that we always do. So we just thought you guys might want to come hang out with us as we do a little bit of meal prepping in the house. All right. So I've got my eggs in my instant pot. I put in 15 eggs. That's going on steam for five minutes. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna put some pork chops. These are bone-in pork chops that Alana has seasoned up really well. We're just putting them on a sheet of parchment paper. They're going into a 400 degree oven for a couple of minutes, maybe 30 to 45 minutes, just depending. We like bone-in pork chops better than we like the boneless. Um, they just seem to have more flavor and hold up a little better. Did not find this on sale, but um, there's some pretty significant pork chops in size, which are always good. And then um, I can pack lunches because I take my lunch to work. I don't buy meals out. And then we do have some of the sugar-free uh, Sweet Baby Ray's that we will um, probably put on these. We'll do like a sauce. So there's six pork chops. That will be enough for each of us to have two pork chops. They could be two lunches or they could be one for dinner and one's a lunch. So it doesn't go a whole long way. Or if the kids don't want pork chops, I could have five lunches and one dinner, but we all like pork chops. So um, this will probably be one dinner chop and one lunch chop. So just two meals. But praise God, because they're pretty, I mean, they're really big. So hopefully with whatever size we use, it will fill us up for that particular meal. All right, so um, for another meal, I have some of these um, shortcut carved turkey breasts. I found these at um, Harris Teeter a while back. They've been in the freezer. I got them for like 15 cents a bag. I have two of those, and then there's just a little bit left in here that we had. We're going to ground this up, and I'm going to add in like taco seasoning, and we're going to make unstuffed peppers because I've got peppers from the garden that we really need to dice and use. So either we're going to use these, um, or some of them will go in the freezer, but we need to go ahead and dice these up. So I'm just going to make unstuffed peppers using ground chicken instead of sausage or ground beef because I don't have it, but I'm going to use what I have. So these will either become unstuffed peppers or they we will freeze some of these. We do have some yellow wax beans. I'm going to make some um, green beans, roasted green beans. So we're going to throw those in as well. I think we do Make a fried pig since there was another customer. She says, you know, I make fried pig. I did say the instructions were back there, and that's pretty much all I did. 
world, you just have people sometimes need that confidence of having done it before before they feel confident in doing it. So they just need to have somebody show them more. You know what I mean? Me do it? Well, I don't think we should do things for people. I think we should help them. Like I'm say, okay, put the cream cheese. Mom, I'm I want giving to be direction. able to help too, but there's never any time to. Well, I'm just saying that maybe some additional training time. They may like have to have a training. You know, call a special training time. Excuse me, what, what or just have people there for training purposes, not helping to serve. Like you're just training today. I'm gonna need candy, about one. All right, so we're adding in some cream cheese. Probably need more than that. We're gonna add in cream cheese. I'm actually just gonna cut that off so that it can uh, melt, but we don't wanna cook the chicken anymore because it's already cooked. And normally I would have made this with ground beef, but I didn't have ground beef, so I'm using what I have. Uh, maybe about another two ounces. So I'm using up what I do have. And we're going to use the majority of the, the green peppers that we have. And those peppers all came out of our garden. We did put some salsa in here. We put, what, half a cup of salsa? Mm -hmm. So what I am going to do is I will um, season the peppers since I didn't season the meat. But it was already that um, carbon board turkey. It should have already been pre-seasoned. But I'm going to go ahead and season. And then sister's going to put another two ounces. So it's probably about four ounces of cream cheese. A little bit over a pound of meat. And we just took that ground, I mean that chicken that we had in those packs and just ground it up in the... Um, food processor. All right, I've got my peppers now. So what I'm gonna do is just salt these because I didn't salt my meat. So I do plan to just salt these. That should be plenty. A little bit of uh, garlic pepper in here. I'm gonna put some chili powder. Remember I said we like chili powder on everything in our house. And I'm just gonna give that a quick stir. Seems like a lot of seasoning, but there uh, we didn't season the meat. And we wanna make sure that all the peppers are well seasoned. And then we're just gonna take this chicken mixture that has the uh, cream cheese. And we're gonna dump this in. Now this is hot and we're gonna let it cool down because we're not cooking this today. This will be just another meal to go in. Um, on one of the nights that we don't feel like doing a meal. Can I have some more of that salsa, please? just gonna put a little bit more of salsa in there just to loosen it up some so that when it cooks it actually has some liquid had I been thinking had I been thinking I could have actually put this in a crock for a crock pot and it could have been a crock pot meal but it's okay it can go in the oven no problem 
could have also added in some sour cream, but you can add sour cream after it's cooked. So I'm just gonna spread this out and then top it with a little bit of Mexican cheese will be perfect. Topped with a little bit of Mexican cheese and we'll be living our best life. So that's just gonna cool and then we will put it in the fridge. We had a few peppers left that we're just gonna lay flat to freeze. We're gonna do a little bit of cleanup and then I'm gonna take you over to the next meal. All right, so I have a, a pan here and I'm just gonna take a little bit of foil for the bottom of the pan. We have washed and popped our green beans, which we got the ends off. The yellow ones are from our garden. The other ones are from Aldi. So this is just gonna be real quick. We're gonna do a little bit of olive oil. Cause this is for tonight. A little bit of salt. Garlic pepper. Chili powder. A little more olive oil. And some Parmesan cheese. And I'm just gonna take my hands, because my hands are clean. Give it a good stir. Good stir. And then that's going into the oven, 400 degrees, for about 30 minutes. So I just filmed this, but the camera wasn't rolling. So I got my pork chops off this pan. We put them in the oven, 30 minutes. <laughs> We're going to barbecue these on the night we eat them. So they're just cooked. They're all the way fully cooked through. Nice and um, good steam, nice white pork. But we're just not going to barbecue them tonight because we're not going to eat them tonight. So the night we decide to eat them, we'll go ahead and put the uh, sugar-free Sweet Baby Ray's on it because that's what we have in the house. All right, you guys. So the last thing I'm going to show you are puffles. So you've heard of chaffles. And you probably have heard of puffles if you're keto at all. But this is just like an egg cheese waffle. And I like puffles because they give a little bit more uh, substance to the chaffle. Like I don't like um, flimsy. Like I don't like it flimsy. So I like mine with a little bit more substance to it. Even when I was, before I was eating keto, I would go to like hop or waffle house or wherever you would eat and i would ask for extra done waffle because i like mine really done so that's just um one egg a quarter cup of mozzarella cheese i'm not putting anything special in this nothing special at all with the exception of the pork rinds and these are crushed up or ground up pork rinds um i actually like the pork cracklings but these are the ones that don't have a lot of the crackling meat in the middle. So that's what these are. And I'm just gonna take a tablespoonful, throw it in. No seasoning, I didn't put any salt, anything on it. The pork rinds have seasoning, the cheese has seasoning. And one egg, quarter cup of cheese, one tablespoon of pork rind is gonna make two mini waffles. Now this mini dash, I got this from a favorite things party that I went to and a friend of mine, um, she is keto as well. And this was her thing that she brought. And I actually got, my name got picked on hers and I was excited to get that. So 
So we just let it cook until it's done. And then we're just gonna run through and make as many as we can get made um, in a short amount of time. And so now that it has um, had time to cook, I didn't actually get it all the way filled, but it's a little harder than a normal chaffle would uh, be. Now just put that on the plate and then I will finish out this one and make another one. So it continues. Okay, this one came out a little better as far as filling out the whole um, mini dash. Now, I didn't use one of these before I got this at the Favorite Things Party. I just used a regular um, waffle maker, which worked fine for our poffles that we made. We started off making truffles, but we really like the poffles, or we like the fact that the pork rind makes it, they're out, that's hot, makes it a little bit more solid and then you can also put them in um, the toaster after you know you've cooked them you can put them in a toaster if you want to toast them up a little bit more you could um, put a piece of sausage between there and a piece of cheese and make like a little mini McGriddle but these are just sometimes in the morning I don't have a lot of time for um, breakfast but if I have some of these made with a piece of you know with a piece of sausage in the middle and a cheese that could be like a little a breakfast sandwich. And so I just, I'm gonna try to make a couple ahead so that I'll have them. We can throw them in the freezer and then, you know, make up the pre sandwiches with the, I don't have any round sausages right now, but if I did. Or I could throw some bacon bits in here and that could be its own separate meal. It wouldn't have sausage in the middle, but it would have, it would be bacon, egg and cheese, poffle. And so that would be an idea as well. All right, you guys, just, I'm going to try to um, film this over the barking dog. So just to finish up and share with you what we were able to get done so far, or just on our quick meal prep, we have several chaffles done. Poffles, actually, because we use the pork rinds, crushed pork rinds. I have one left in there, and that one is done. I'm going to pop that off. That's the last one. Um, we have chickens that we will process for the rest of the week. A couple of soups. Uh, these are some we made last night, so a couple left. We have the Mexican stuffed peppers. That will be a meal one night. We have the pork chops that we will barbecue one night. We are using one half of this chicken. We'll take the wings off and we'll strip that down for a chicken and uh, cauliflower soup. And then Alana is finishing up the angel eggs. We do have angel eggs being finished. Those will be for dinner and then whatever we don't eat for dinner will be for the rest of the week. And then finishing up for dinner, I did the um, green beans. We just did olive oil, a little bit of seasonings and some carrots we had left over from a seafood chowder I made last week. We just threw those in, uh, roasted chicken, cream greens, and this is a compote I made. That is um, no sugar added cherries and blueberries. I threw in the blueberries and we'll eat those over the, um, the poffles. So there it is, you guys, just some quick meal prep, nothing fancy schmancy, but just enough to get us, you know, a couple of days of meals. So if you like the video, be sure and thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.